What is up my babies? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Zania back again with another video and as you can see by the title, your girl's going to be filming part one of her back to school series videos. So, Today's video is going to be a high school stats video, and yes, I know this video is being filmed very late in the game. I am filming this the last week of July, and most people start school towards the end of August. But I'm continuing to film this video because these are the types of videos that definitely help me along the way during my college process, and these videos to me were quite interesting. So, hey, why not? Um, before we get into the video, I want to say that in no way, shape, or form am I trying to brag about my grades. I think I've worked pretty hard in high school. Well, not freshman or sophomore year, but I mean, other years, I think I worked pretty hard to get the grades that I did. And this video isn't to brag. This video is a very educational video and to show you what the college process may or may not look like. So if you guys are new to the channel, hi, hello, my name is Zania Green. I'm 18 years old. If you love seeing my face, subscribe down below. Don't forget to hit that post notification so you're notified every time that I post. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. This video is going to be broken up into three sections. Your first section is going to be my grades, classes, GPA, class rank, all of that. Then we're going to be talking about the SAT slash AC. CT, and then we're going to be talking about the extracurricular activities and other things that I did to help me along this college process. So I do have my back book here with me today to help me film this video because I know for a fact I'm not going to remember all the information that I want to say in this video. So let's get started with the first part. My overall GPA was a 4.3 weighted GPA and then unweighted was a 3.7 GPA. So I thought that was a pretty good GPA for the classes that I took and I'll tell you that in a minute. Um, I was ranked 42 out of 252 students who graduated and I graduated magna cum laude? Don't quote me on that. I'm going to insert a video of graduation day because I don't remember. I think it was magna cum laude. Zania Naisha Green, magna cum laude. <laughs> Timothy. I would like to say that my school is kind of a small school compared to other schools. And I think my class was very competitive. Like I got a 4.03 GPA and I was 42. So we had a very competitive class. Guys, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start off by naming all the classes that I took. And then on the screen, I'm going to tell you how many AP classes I took, how many honors classes I took, and how many regular classes I took. So let's start with freshman year. So freshman year, I took Band, English 1 Honors, Math 1, World History Honors, Band again, Earth and Environmental Science Honors, Health and PE, and then Health and Physical Education, and then marketing and I got all A's in my regular classes and all B's in my honors classes. 10th grade, I took Band Intermediate, Biology Honors, English 2 Honors, Spanish 1, American History Honors, Health Team Relations, Math 2 Honors, and Spanish 2. And I got all A's in my regular classes and all B's in my honors classes except for American, American History because I really enjoy that class. So I kind of worked really hard in that class. All right, 11th grade. So you're gonna hear me say American history and AP United States history. It's the same class, it's just they broke it up into two different sections for each semester. So American history honors one, English three honors, health science one, math three honors, AP United States history, chemistry honors, and health science two. And that year I got all A's except for chemistry honors and I ended up getting an 86 in chemistry honors. Y'all, chemistry is hard and I gotta take chemistry again freshman year of college and I feel like I'm going to low key kind of fail. Chemistry was so hard for me for some reason. Oh, and I took child and development and got an A in that as well. So. Senior year, I took Anatomy and Physiology Honors, Pre-Cal Honors, Spanish 3 Honors, AP English Literature and Composition, Nursing Fundamentals Honors, and that was it. And I got all A's in that, or I got all A's in all of my classes. So, like I said in the beginning, my GPA was a 4.03 weighted and a 3.7 unweighted, and I was ranked 42 out of 252 students. So as you can see, by the classes that I took, I didn't take that many hard classes. Like, I really honestly didn't. Um, 
and if you ask me why i wouldn't know why but just letting you know that you don't have to take ap classes and do dual enrollment and take college classes in order to get into college because you can get into college taking regular and honors classes i was just not gonna stress myself out over high school so i took honors classes I was low-key kind of scared to take AP classes. I'm not even gonna lie. But our school didn't offer that many AP classes to begin with, so it really didn't matter. Okay, so let's talk about my SAT and ACT. Because, um, you know, the sophomore year, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get at 1350. I'm gonna get into NYU or University of Miami or UNC Chapel Hill, because those are my top three colleges. And I'm like, we gotta study really hard. This is at the third. I signed up for my SAT and COVID hit and they were like, it's not required. Everything just went out the window. Everything went out the window. So I didn't, let me just say, start off by saying I did not study for the SAT nor the ACT. And at the end of the day, I didn't even send anything in. I just took them just to see what I would get. So, which are really bad grades. So my PSAT that I took sophomore year, I got a 930 and a 500 on reading and a 430 on math. On my ACT, I got a 16 and I don't know the things. So like I saw that 16, I was like, you know what, whatever. So on my SAT that I took junior year, I got a 16. Terrible. Okay, we get to senior year. I took my SAT in August before school started. So my SAT with essay, I got a 940 and a 470 on reading and a 470 on math. Y'all, this is bad, okay? It gets worse. I took it again in November. So I got an SAT with, um, with my essay and I got a 870 and I got a 460 on reading and a 410 on math. And here's why. I forgot to bring a, a calculator that day. So I did better on the first one because I uh, had a calculator, but the second one, I didn't. But let me just say this. Your SATs are important because I low-key feel like I didn't get into NYU or got waitlisted at NYU because I didn't take my SAT. That I low-key strongly feel I got waitlisted because of my SAT. So don't think because I didn't take my... Um, so don't think because I didn't send in my SAT that it isn't important. No, it's important. I trust and believe if COVID didn't hit, I probably would have studied and I probably would have taken that SAT about a good four or five times to make sure I got the grade that I wanted. So with that being said, please, please, please study for your ACT and SAT. Um, COVID isn't going to last forever. And if it does, we got vaccines. So colleges are going to start saying that, okay, SATs are required, ACTs are required. So please don't do as I say, not as I do. Now, last but not least, let's talk about my extracurricular activities that I did. I like to think that I was a very involved person in school, but according to my teachers and um, my teachers and my counselors who did my recommendations, they were like, even though she didn't do much in school, everything that she did was very meaningful and thoughtful. And I'm like, you don't even offer that many clubs or activities to begin with, so don't get on me. Anyways, let's get into it. So freshman year, I did marching band and concert band. And that was it. So with marching band and concert band, I only did marching band and concert band because that literally took up a lot of my time to begin with. So freshman year, I did try out for all district and I made it. I made 12th chair and I ended up playing at ECU with a bunch of other people who were part of all district. And concert band, I did a lot of all county band. I did... um. There are so many bands that I did. I'm gonna list them out on the screen because with concert band, I did quite a lot of bands. So it kind of took up a lot of time. So I didn't really do anything else freshman year. Sophomore year, I was involved in cheerleading, National Honor Society band, and I volunteered at the hospital. So I did quite a lot. I, I think I did quite a lot junior, sophomore year in my opinion. Um, National Honor Society, I kind of got in like at the end of sophomore year, so I didn't really do much for that, but I did volunteer at the hospital, you know, cheerleading. That, that's a story in a different self. Cheerleading, ooh, that's a story in a different, uh, for a different day. Um, and um, band. Again, with band, I did quite a lot of bands. Let's see, 
Let's see if I can name them. I know I did a fall band, winter band, and spring band. Uh, all counting band. There were two bands that I did that involved me trying out for something, and I don't even remember. So I'm gonna list that on the screen. Junior year, I did National Honor Society and softball. And softball was just something I wanted to try out. Like I thought it would be fun. And it actually was fun until COVID hit and then I couldn't do it anymore. So and senior year, I did Knights Ambassador and National Honor Society because again, we could not do anything because of COVID. But Outside of school, I did start my own business called Zania's Hair Boutique. I did start that. I worked at Chick-fil-A for four years and I earned my certification in nursing. So I am currently a CNA. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed filming this video. Um, there are going to be four parts to this um, series. It might be five. Who knows, if I can come up with a fifth video, it might be five. So my next video will be talking about all the colleges that I applied to, the college process, um, what college forms or apps that I used in order to apply to colleges, and the college that I will be attending, which a lot of you guys will probably know what college I'm attending anyway, but that's besides the point. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.